To get started, you need to first identify how you want to begin. Do you want to add video or do you want to add images? If you take a look down here in this section here, right now it looks like a film strip. This is displaying all the video that I have on my device. The next one over gives me access to my photos. The third option here deals with adding music. As you can see here, there's theme music, sound effects, and if you have anything in iTunes on here, you can access your playlist, your albums, your artists, and the songs. Now, we're going to come back to that part because I want to put video in first. So by selecting on the video, I can go in and select which one I would like. Here's one outside the district administration building. When I tap this, you'll notice that it gives you a few options. You'll see the yellow handles and I'll move the mouse over that so you can see those handles. I can use those handles to trim some of the timeline. Notice as I bring that in, it actually shows the video playing in the right hand side window. It'll also indicate how many seconds your existing video clip is, and right now it's saying it's 11 seconds. If I want to play it as a preview, there's the play button here and I could click on that and it's going to play it in the preview window over there. When I have the video that I want to use and I know how much of it I want to use, I just tap that blue arrow and that's going to send it down here towards the bottom. Now from here you'll see there's that red line. That red line is actually the playhead. Right now it is showing that it is at the end of my video. I can drag my video just by touching on it with my finger and I can move that playhead to whatever spot. Now the playhead is at the start of the video. Notice whatever frame is where that playhead is, is what's going to show up in the preview window up in this area. So I'm going to just drag that over and wherever I stop, that's what we'll see in the preview window. Say I want to add another section of video, I just move my playhead to the end of the video and I'm going to touch one of my other sections up here this is just showing part of my desk in my office. I'm going to maybe take this section here. I hit the arrow. It's going to automatically add it. Now you'll see between the two clips of video here, you're going to see this little tiny icon that looks like two arrows. That indicates a transition. The transition will take two separate sections of video and put a nice kind of blend in so that it's not an abrupt change between the video. I'm going to click on the play button right over here. You can see what happens with that transition. Notice that quick fade. I'll play it again. That indicates that I've added a transition. Now, I might want to add a still image to this. So I'm going to click over here under my video section. I'm going to click on the photo section. And I'm going to go to my camera roll. And here I have a picture that I took. I'm just going to tap that and it's going to put the picture in. Now it's automatically going to indicate where on that picture, you know, it says that it is 17.9 seconds. If I tap that, I can now trim that by dragging on the handles. Because this is a picture, I can make it as long or as short as I want. Now say I get to the point where I want to go in and I would like to rearrange the order of how things are. I'm going to take my picture and I'm going to hold my finger on the picture until notice how it lifts up. Now I can pick that up and drag it to wherever I want it. So I can put it here or perhaps I want to drag it towards the start of my video and I could place it there.